Here we have a 1988 BMW M5, one owner car from new, 95,000 miles, all original paint, original window sticker, original bill of sale, and a lot of recent service documentation. Uh, I'm bringing in Don Fields, uh, who is better known as Mr. M Car, and he's going to go over about some of the things that have been done to this car over the past 20 years. Okay, great. Um, I've been brought in today to talk about this uh, really nice, clean 88 M5. Um, but I think it's imperative before I talk about this car, I talk about its owner. It's an older gentleman. I've been working on this car since about 2003. And uh, first and foremost is that the guy's a pilot. And so he understands safety. He's not a jerk, doesn't drive like an idiot. And he understands maintenance. He currently has a vintage... Uh, propeller driven military trainer aircraft and he's in the process of restoring another one so that is to say that he understands maintenance and repair and all of that has been restored upon this car as well um, car first originally came to me because he had a problem with a misfire that couldn't be diagnosed at another shop very long story short we ended up doing a bunch of things to it and it had a broken valve keeper so we took the cylinder head off did a complete rebuild of the cylinder head we also did a, what I call a mini port on that, which opens up the upper half of the intakes. It's about a third of the cost of doing a complete full intake port, but yet you'll realize better than 50% of the benefit of a full port at a fraction of the price. Along with that, we also put on the optional European headers, and the combination of the two will easily yield about another 30 foot pounds of torque and bring it back to its European specification. Um, the car's been lovingly cared for, Everything is done correctly. As you can see, it's got all of the correct hoses and a routing and a proper German crimp clamps on it. Um, cost really wasn't an object, but we just tried to take care of the car as best we could. One of the things that we did is he wanted very good air conditioning for the car. And these cars from the factory had a huge problem with the air conditioning system. It just wasn't cold enough, especially on a black car. So to that end, at the time, it was fairly easy to do. We sourced an AC compressor, 134 Genuine, BMW factory compressor for the later model, 91 M5. Fitted it to the car, it fits perfectly. Flushed all of the lines out, took the evaporator out, changed the expansion valve, replaced all of the seals. We put it all back together, and in addition to that, we put a larger AC condenser in the front, and I also had an idea in my head, so we went ahead and we put the larger auxiliary fan in the front from the later model 91 525 much larger in circumference curved blade multi-blade fan and for the same amount of electricity we're moving a lot more air across the AC condenser between the new compressor set up for 134 the proper expansion valve and the larger fan up front the car is very cool on the inside now if you come in here you'll notice that these shocks look like they're tilted in a little those are factory offset camera bushings that's to give you another half a degree of increased camber um, again just to reiterate all of the parts we've used on this car save one which i'll get into later are factory parts um, car performs well does very well uh, need for maintenance or wants this car never had it was just a matter of making a phone call and getting it done I'm also told, and I didn't realize this until just recently, that uh, Steve is the original owner of this car, so that's pretty remarkable. Uh, I'm going to miss working on this car. I didn't see it much. He didn't put a lot of miles on it. I think the car's got, what, 97,000 miles on it or something like that? 92,000? I think 95. 95,000 miles. And, and again, for original owner car, that's uh, pretty darn good. It's also got the upgraded uh, H4 European-style headlamps on it. The bumper and all of the trim is all original on the car. So to come full circle on the exhaust here, this has got the optional European headers on it, which really let the engine breathe very nicely. This was something that the U.S. models weren't fitted with. 
but a very popular option for that. And then in order to make sure it flowed properly, we put on a uh, aftermarket catalytic converter from Vintage Sports. It's a high flow cat, it's 50 state legal, and it's also got a muffler to, to accommodate the, the breathing of the car. Now that we made the car go faster, you know, we've got to complete the equation. We've got to make the car stop. And that was one of Steve's questions, and it's always one of my concerns that, it, sure, anybody can make a car go faster, but you've got to make it stop. There's a lot of big brake kits out there. Some of them work, some don't. Steve wanted to keep a lot of the stuff on the car factory. So to that end, we took a set of brake calipers off of the front of an 850 CSI. They're, they're Brembo calipers built by Brembo for BMW. They're a direct bolt-on, along with the rotors that go with it. And a popular upgrade for the brakes in the back is we sourced the next chassis up, the E34 and also the E32 7 Series. We put the larger rear brake discs and the larger rear calipers on. So the brakes are about 20% larger, four piston calipers up front, and the car stops really good for a car.